oh, you know what, if I knew that, I'd be a millionaire right now. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Gillow. Hi, my name is Noah and I'm a personal trainer for UBC Rec. Today we're gonna to be answering some of the most common questions personal trainers get asked by you guys. Come with a friend or potentially find a personal trainer that you could train with. Find a small little corner of the gym, go in with a plan, know what your workout is gonna look like and then that will help you feel a lot more confident doing what you have to do in the workout space. I think that sleep is so, so, so underrated. Sleep a lot. Eat healthy food. Eat well. Do what makes you happy. Move a lot. So if you're doing things that keep you happy and stress-free, you'll be set. That depends on your goals. Three is the golden number. Three times a week is a pretty good number. I like to aim for around five days a week of some kind of exercise. It doesn't have to be super rigorous. Just getting your body moving is super, super important for your overall health. Depending on how ambitious you are, you can ramp that up. Just make sure you give yourself adequate rest in between. Okay, this is a question we get asked a lot. One thing to address like right off the bat, getting abs is not just about like doing ab workouts very frequently. You have to be below a certain body fat percentage so that your abs are visible. The biggest thing is just getting a low amount of fat on your abdomen. Do some intense training to build your abs. Pursue health over the aesthetic. But yes, if you want the abs, you're gonna have to work hard to get rid of that body fat. It can, um, it doesn't have to. When I hear gains, I think of you're trying to build muscle mass. And if you're trying to build muscle, you need to be hitting the weights quite heavy. At the same time though, you have to care for your heart and that's your cardiovascular endurance and your cardiovascular health. Don't just completely neglect running, biking, swimming for the sake of your gains. A good idea to have a balance of both. You don't want to be able to lift 400 pounds but not be able to run like 200 meters. So aim for a balance. The most effective way to build muscle is to be in a caloric surplus. Essentially, just ensure you are at a caloric surplus and you can do all the cardio you want. Thank you everyone for listening. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Is that okay to say? I should be looking right in the camera the whole time. Makes sense. <laughs>